Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your host, Anon Jr., and uh, we we got a big project ahead of us. Well, I have a big project ahead of me. Uh, still, still getting the last little bit of item sorting sorted from uh, this little gem. I this this box, this one, and only this one seems to be well. So far, only that one seems to be having some really weird problems where where uh, I emptied my pockets from a recent project into there, let it all run through, and a couple items that I didn't have homes for came out into overflow, and the stuff that was destined for that box. Uh, although I haven't run any end, th end stuff through in a while, I haven't run any basalt through in a while, or any of the stuff that would be found around a geode. I haven't finished setting up the redstone box yet. So I, I don't know if it's an issue with top rows across the board or just that guy. Uh, but, yeah, so frustrating. So frustrating. Uh, I almost forgot to grab some trapdoors while I was here. Because uh, we're, we're getting ready to go to our project list. And where did I put it? Where did I put it? Uh, 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 there we go. Number seven here. We're going to go work on the Piglin Trading Hall. This is a design by Logical Geek Boy that is absolutely excellent. And maybe just a teensy bit ridiculous uh, for our server. But, I mean, come on. How, how, how could I not? Uh, I do need a sign so I can make sure that I, I give proper credit where credit is due. Uh, I do I do try to make sure that I do that as much as possible. So, like, you know, we get the, the multi-item by Nembomb. Um, the the Shulker and Loader, yeah, inspired by Pixel Rifts. That kind of stuff. I, I tend to forget to bring some extra signs with me so sign signs everywhere signs i've got a bunch of gear i i was, I was actually surprised when i you know not counting the glass i was putting together the materials list for this project and i had just all this stuff already just kind of sitting around somewhere uh except for some of the dust i had to go trade with the the clerics for that but that that took all of like five minutes and, and that very excellently productive uh, melon pumpkin farm made that so much easier. What I did have to do though was grind out uh, <laughs> the hopperage because I did not have six stacks and a bit of hoppers floating around. Uh, all 329 of them and I did not have 388 chests just kind of you know chilling nearby so I, I did have to do a little bit of grinding to get those guys done and uh i also needed to uh to spend a little time building up the emerald stash so i could go buy these ridiculously expensive name tags eventually i will i will take a day that i and uh just uh complete a sentence no i and <laughs> just uh get a. Uh, Get that stuff done. Um, I think I need to grab a few slabs too while I'm at it. Uh, you know what? Just, just to see what's going on. Let's grab some endstone slabs. Uh, mostly because I, I want to make sure that I spawn proof these uh, these. <laughs> all, all, all the all the shulker boxes while I'm working on the nether roof because it would be a horrible, horrible shame if a ghast were to uh, interrupt the the construction of this bit. Uh, I didn't get too much done around here over over the the weekend, but I was able to help X Medic Frog with some stuff over on his base which was also awesome and is looking amazing and i think when it's a little closer to done I'll, I'll pop over there and show it off and i still gotta get the delay better on this i just didn't want to get jacked by a skeleton and uh x medic uh medic did uh, a little a little uh unintentional terraforming out in front of my door there 
because uh, he, he he didn't want to walk over from there to here in the middle of the night, which to be say to be fair, this is not the safest part of town in the middle of the night. Uh, so he flew, <laughs> he flew from his door to my door and nearly got blown up by a creeper. Um, yeah, we, we we gotta we gotta figure out a way to better mob proof this especially since walking out to go to go down to the caldera here and, and down there to use the smelter array i nearly got blown up by a creeper as well because he was just kind of hiding behind this tree here and all hey uh, yeah that was not fun either so uh either that or i just need to start building a, a tunnel access into the room down there which Actually, that's not a bad idea either. And something I probably ought to do anyway. Yeah, that's something that's definitely going to happen. Oh, oh, you know what else needs to happen? I need to go grab an ender chest and swap out my boots. Because we're going to be working with a lot of the piglins. And if there's one thing they don't like, they don't like leather treads. No, <laughs> well, they don't like, uh, you gotta have at least one gold something before the, they'll even talk to you, uh, or so they won't at least murder you. So let's, uh, there we go. Got my fancy boots of piglin diplomacy. And, uh, I try not to go walking around with these too much because of the frost walker. The frost walker is great when you're in the nether, but, uh, it, it ruins a lot of overworld stuff like water, water transport systems and that kind of thing and yeah I mean it, it's nice it's got its use uh, <laughs> building over the lake it's kind of nice too because then you can get a nice ice block for uh, to build on alright I I also need to get enough blackstone over here to, to redo this in blackstone because the or a deep slate slab something because the mostly deep slate with the one bit of blackstone is not that's not a good look. All right. So we got little Timmy over here in the boat. I need 24 piglins total. I also need to figure out if I get enough space where I want to put it. And I, I kind of want to put it opposite this path over here. And I so I may have to move that path down that way a little bit, which, I mean, it probably should be anyway. I, I kind of haphazardly put that together and... Uh, yeah, the, the, this this little a winding road is not exactly what I was looking for. I, I was trying to go for a straighter path than that. So, I don't know. That, that That's like low priority because it's still at least a path. Uh, what I need to do is I need to make sure that I've got 14 blocks deep by 43 blocks wide. And uh, 15 blocks high is not, is not a problem here. So I also want to figure out how far from the path the gold farm is and do it the same distance that way for no good reason. Uh, because I want to. Or maybe I just build it right up against the path. I don't know. Uh, I still got to fix that. That, that, that pad is... Uh, it works. There's at least that. It works. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I heard a ghast, and I think he's right below me in the nether. All right, so... Yeah, let, uh, let's go ahead and... Oh, you good, sir, are going to get angsty about me opening up uh, shulker boxes near you. Let's... Uh, you know what? Let, let's just... Uh, hop in the boat here and I'm gonna move you around the corner and uh look what, what you don't know won't hurt me there we go pay, pay no attention <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and you know I just realized I never put an ender chest out here. Is that a stair? That's a stair. Okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be mad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so I got some slabs to cover the shulker boxes. I know I need those three. I shouldn't need the redstone because I think I got everything on the list in there. I know I need glass, but I, I'm not sure how much. I may need some supplemental wool. And as soon as I figure out what color I want the glass, I'll need the die kit. <laughs> so let's set us up a, uh, a little workstation here. Um, that way I'm not too far from the, uh, the ender chest when I need to go grabbing stuff. All right, so those are the boxes I definitely need those are boxes I maybe need I'll put the die kit then the wool and then the glass and I'm trying to get these guys on their side I kind of wish there was an easier way to put shulkers on their side instead of having something to stick them against the the main thing is I just I want to be able to put um, some slabs on top of that to keep them mob proof that's it that's all I really want. You know, mob proofing. Matter of fact, I can... Um, oh, that's right. I, I've got some warped nylium and the uh, warped fungus and soul torches because I'm going to try... Uh, well, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll see with what degree of success. I'm going to try to create a, a platform for getting piglins in a uh, in a somewhat efficient and reasonable fashion <laughs> we'll see how that goes all right uh, I'm gonna need all the inventory space I can get so I'll keep the bow and arrow because this is the nether uh, I'll without the shield uh, I'll keep an ender chest on me just in case and I just need those two out of here I should keep the rockets and the pearls uh, I won't need those just yet I won't need that just yet all right this way I'm this way I can try to fill up my inventory with as much as I can because I don't I don't want to have to go uh, running back and forth back and forth on a lot of this stuff so let's grab a stack of dust for now torches comparators ice and targets and slime blocks and actually I'm gonna hold off on the rails because I know I won't need those till later and by the time I get to those I'll have built up a fair amount of the other stuff uh, <coughs> The observer I'll probably need early on. The lever, the pistons, the dropper, the lava I won't need till later. The dispenser I won't need till later. Same with that guy. I'll need that. And I think the compost. No, the composters come later. Uh, the block of redstone? Question mark. Uh, you know, what? let's go ahead and just do that. There we go. And I don't think I need more than the initial bit of chests and hoppers and I'm gonna need some building blocks uh, just in, uh, the nice thing about the the video that logical geek boy used that I'm gonna put on a sign and I need somebody to make sure I remember to put it in the description when I upload it to YouTube in the video description he's got the materials list although uh, he kind of forgets to mention the hopper minecart. Uh, although I think that's because Lake Matica doesn't uh, doesn't always store entities when you uh, when you're building up a diagram. Hey, Axonim, how's it going? Uh, so for this farm, I'm going to need 24 piglins, which I'll, I'll get once I get a little bit more of the farm put together. I need 22 items for the hopper clock. Ooh, that reminds me, I need to grab those right now. <laughs> Trade time. Uh, I need 388 chests, got them. Uh, 329 hoppers, got them. 204 building blocks. I, I grabbed an assortment of wools, so that way I can keep uh, I can keep the different sections color coded for my own sanity. Uh, <laughs> I only need 63 glass blocks, 
I, I've got a variety of glass, and as soon as I figure out what color I want to make it, I'll, I'll dye up the requisite amount of glass and make that happen. Uh, I needed 94 redstone dust, which I've got. Uh, oh, sorry, 96. 31 torches, 37 repeaters, comparators, blue ice. Now, I I initially thought you could use either blue ice or packed ice, depending on what was easiest to come across. However, uh, Logical Geek Boy notes later in the video that blue ice is the only ice block that is slippery enough to get items all the way to the end of storage. So, uh, you know, uh, as much of a pain as it was, well, I had most of the blue ice. I just had to convert a few more packed ice into it. But, yeah, that, that was a little painful on the, uh, on the ice storage, but, you know. Uh, and I've got ladders because he used ladders to get up to where the switch is and where the gold loading system is. Oh, I forgot an item frame and some stuff like that. All right. Well, I, I can handle that later. That's, that's not, that's, <laughs> that's not the driving issue of this particular endeavor. Uh, I almost want to, want to, uh, try to like wool out or carpet out a, uh, a perimeter for where this is supposed to be. But I don't want to deal with all that carpet later. And, uh, yeah. In the time-honored tradition of all sorts of places everywhere, I'm going to wing it. Now, off to my side, I've got screenshots and uh, directions and stuff that, that, I, that I wrote, that I wrote out. Uh, so, I need seven air blocks up. And then on the eighth block, I'll rest. No, on the eighth block, I'll get me a black wool. Uh, no, I'm going to go seven. <laughs> seven black wool up, and then on the eighth one, I'll start building this contraption. All right. Uh, um, where is this leading corner going to be? We'll go ahead and we'll put it here. Because that... I can move that, and I think that's going to give me the kind of space I want for this. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and on the eighth block, towards the inside, inside. Towards the inside, I need to put me a comparator and a block. I tend to use wool in a lot of my uh, redstone construction because it's very hard to accidentally break. Matter of fact, let me uh, clear out the unnecessary wool before I forget why that's even there. Actually, I'll probably just end up using black glass because no, nobody but me really wants to see all the redstone going on in there. All right, can I land on the two block wide? Mm. Ah, a mm. ah, little damage. A little damage never killed anyone. Wait. <laughs> all right. And my lever goes up on here. Um, maybe I should have grabbed scaffolding. Uh, all right. I got scaffolding. I was trying to be lazy. Oh, hush. I hear you mm -hmm. over there. Don't worry, you're going to get your, all the gold your heart desires, all in due time, all in due time. Oops. Like a good programmer, I'm off by one. <laughs> there, never mind. 
That, that's a bad programmer joke. Uh, yeah, so that'll be off. That'll be on. Boom da ba. Sticky piston off the side of the redstone. Basically, oh. <sighs> why do you hate me so? All right, um, because I hate that you can't, you know, shift. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Alright, alright, alright. Work smarter, right? Where'd my wool go? Where's my wool? Not where's my water, where's my wool? Uh, I didn't lose that comparator, right? I needed 33 comparator. I got 33 comparator. Okay, good, good, good. Alright, uh, let's do this. Let's put a wool block down there. That way I can crouch on the wool and do that. Redstone block is for the hopper clock. Um, two of these are for this guy right here. And my 22 timer items will go in there. And then I can need. That's that block, then this wall. Oh, oh, that's not what I want. There we go. So that way I should be able to do that like a so. And this guy like a so. And that guy. Oh, oh. Like so. Boom. And so we don't do the same mistake again. There we go. All right. Bog standard hopper timer clock. Yeah, like so. Uh, I may I may or may not have been watching Corrales lately. Uh, does it show? sweet faces <laughs> all right I know that that's 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 like that one step too far all right uh by the way Arcadius that water should still be warm for some tea if you would like some I know I know it's coffee craft but uh he was faster. I, I could start trying to do everything in a bad British accent if you want. Alright, I need an observer. Actually. this side so the observer can look at that guy right there uh, need more blocks because I need Oops. <coughs> never mind then I'm just gonna put stuff in the wrong place why does it matter <laughs> I will get through this. I know. I know. Uh, I watched his little moss farm thing uh, last night while I was building up uh, <laughs> resources for this for this build. And yeah. 
I just amazing. Uh, amazing. Uh, Gemini Tay has been a recent addition to a lot of my regular watching as well. And, uh, yeah, I, I distinctly felt very, very old when she tweeted out that, you know, she had just turned 26 because that is how old my youngest sister is. And I'm really trying not to think too hard about it. Because <laughs> that, that, that's just going to make me sad. <laughs> Alright, I keep... Alright, I need that on full delay. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Oh, yeah, eight tracks. There we go. That that just made it all the better, right? N next, I need to talk about how I remember when a McDonald's marketing campaign was done with 33 and a third albums. You see, kids. <laughs> I, I don't even know if that's a kids ask your parents reference or if that's a kids ask your grandparents reference. Uh, don't, don't answer that one. Oh, 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 that hurts. <laughs> the curly cords like you see in the old movie. My grandmother, uh, when when she was still with us, ha still had that ancient rotary phone that the phone company gave her in like 1970-something. Uh, I mean, we're talking the big box rotary phone with, with the ancient curly extension cable that reached all the way to the living room because there was a time when that's what long distance was, how far your cord stretched. <laughs> and and we, we're, we're, we left to, to give my uncle a break and taking care of her and, uh, you know, help out with that. And my youngest sister said 26-year-old, uh, this was a few years ago, so she was even younger then, too. Uh, she couldn't figure out how to dial in a pizza delivery because she didn't know how rotary phones worked. <laughs> I, I, I just, like... <laughs> oh... That, that that one hurt a little bit too. That one hurt a little bit too. <laughs> and uh, oh, well, and some of the other some of the other stuff were were regional things, because uh, we our family is originally from the Rhode Island area. Wait, never ordered pizza on the phone? I... Never mind. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, so some of the other interesting aspects were uh, regional things, because we're originally from the uh, from Rhode Island. But my youngest sister grew up in the South. So when my uncle told her to go order a couple of grinders... Uh, she did not know what a grinder was and couldn't understand why we were going to Subway for one. <laughs> uh, I did not take the best notes on this. Same I am. <laughs> oh, that's right. A torch goes here. And then I need another one coming off of this block. So I should have left that guy there. Yeah, this is so much easier when you're <laughs> doing this in, uh, in creative mode. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh yeah, just put a block here and put a block there. 
seems so much easier. Alright, uh... Sticky piston slam block like this, and the... Re this repeater is on full delay? That's, that's what I wrote down, it looks like. We'll find out real. We'll find out real soon if it isn't. <laughs> All right, so that guy is going out there like that, and this is must resolve myself to bouncing up that. I, I I don't even know why I'm making it such a big deal about not losing any wool. X Medic Frog made a really nice wool farm that uh, is producing more than enough for our needs at the moment. So it's not like, especially since I uh, I still got to do one more block out this way. So I shouldn't have removed that in the first place. All right. Yeah. So we're not in danger of running out of wool. Uh, not not in the least. Not in the least, but I, I can't, I just can't let myself not, you know, not, not pick up all this stuff because it, it hurts my soul when I see resources just left around waiting to wither and die. All right, so that guy goes on there and now I need my last two sticky pistons. One is going to go... Like that. The other is going to go. But not that direction. Uh, like that. Oh. And it's going to push me off too. Because of course. Alright. And... I need my two slime blocks. That guy is going to go there. This guy is going to go here. All right. And, and basically what this is doing is we're going to put the piglins in a spot over here. Uh, I'm going to add some leaf blocks for them to stand on so that way it's also not spawnable. And I'm going to cover all this redstone up in glass. Uh, so that way it's not spawnable as soon as I get a little bit more built in. And um, so when you turn that lever on, the counter is going to count out. And when it reaches a certain point, it's going to power a burnout clock. That's going to give the 24 piglins 24 gold ingots. They're going to do their thing and look at it. And by the time they've tossed their stuff on the ground, that clock should be ready to switch again. And it's going to retract this piston. Use this one to push all the items they dropped over to the iceway. And then extend this piston, pushing them down the iceway. So that way you can get a sorting system without needing to uh, to use water. So, yep. And then they're going to be looking at their gold. Uh, let me just double check the let it run one more time cuz that should retract first. Okay. Yep, there we go. That's going to work just fine. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, good. <laughs> Anytime I'm working off of, off of some shoddy notes that were hastily written, you know, I always got to kind of wonder, like, did, did I write that right? <laughs> I know that made sense when I wrote it down. I don't know if it makes sense now, but it, it surely made sense when I wrote it down. Or maybe that's just me. All right. So that's good to go. All right. The pistons are in place. And I'm going to need... 
some of these guys. At three of my droppers. Uh huh. Alright. Um So yeah, let's put that guy there as a temporary block. Because there's gonna be a, a dropper there, a dropper there, and a dropper there. Then we're gonna have a hopper going into the back of the bottom guy there. A hopper going into the back of the top guy there. And now we need to do something that looked really easy when he's flying around in creative mode and is a little less easy when you got to do this part in survival. All right, so that's going there. We're going to have one more going this way, one more going this way. That guy is going down like that, and then we got down like this, and down like that. And I need the, uh... Alright. Nothing spawned. I need the iron bars, the hopper minecart, the rail, and I might as well grab the rest of the stuff now that I got inventory space. Because, so what we're doing is there's a burnout clock that is going to be set up here in just a minute. And what that's going to do is each dispenser is going to give off eight gold ingots. Hence why we need 24 piglins. Uh, I want to make sure. Oh, God. scaffolding. I want to make sure that the gold gets evenly distributed amongst all the all the all three um, dispensers. Oh my brain! It's not even brain fog. It, it, it's like trying to trying to run knee deep in a bog. That, that, that's where... No! I... Deep breath. Deep breaths. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's like trying to run knee deep in a, in a bog in the middle of the night. Uh, so... Oh, no, 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 no. All right, fine, fine. We'll do this again. Which... Which one of you has which part... As one of you has, uh, oh, okay, how convenient. Let's get that hopper minecart together again. Let's get that rail again. Let's put said hopper minecart on there again. And let's knock that. And see if we can't nudge this guy into the corner proper. What we're doing is we're trying to use those three iron bars to oops, nudge the hitbox for this hopper minecart. So that way it sits over all three of these hoppers. So if we go F3B to look at the hitbox, it doesn't matter if the hopper part of the hopper minecart is over. It All that matters is that the hitbox for the hopper minecart is over the hopper. So it's definitely over those two and definitely over this guy. So now it is nice and tucked up under... Uh, oh, no, 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 stop, stop. Ah! It is tucked under, <laughs> tucked up nicely against all the all the things that we want it to be. I'll walk the long way around 
so that I can go ahead and put a chest here. Wait, no, I actually want that to be... Ah, fine. Pick that up out of one of those later. There we go. I want that chest there and that chest there. That helps prevent people from walking into it like I did. And again, as long as the chest is over the hopper minecart, so that, so you fill this guy up with gold, and that hopper minecart is going to rapidly drain out of this chest and into all of these guys evenly. And, and I will, uh, I will eventually label that with the um, that. Alright, um... Actual note I left myself. Add a block with a torch pointing to the block with the torch under the sticky piston. I have no one to blame but myself for that one. Did put a uh, feather falling on here, right? Yeah, okay, good. I'm gonna need it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And, and it's one of those things that, like, I can't get mad because that's not the way he explained it. That's the way I left myself a note. <laughs> I, I, I don't, I don't know. I did it to myself. All right. So that is the block with the sticky piston. So I'm adding a block. Uh, oh, torch, oh, torch, where art thou? Oh, that was, that was not as graceful as I wanted it to be. All right. Uh, so I got a block with a torch facing the block with the torch that has the sticky piston on top of it. Should be directly behind the hopper. Wait, directly, directly behind the hopper? No, not directly, directly behind the hopper. All right. And... Add a... Add a repeater. And a block. And that block is right on top of the torch. And two dust. And that's going to run through the burnout. Did, did anything get stuck in there? Okay, good. Good, good, good. Now I can get to adding some glass. So I, I will be less paranoid about uh, extra guests showing up. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll phrase it that way. Extra guests. Uh, let me go ahead and mix up some black glass, because I've already got the black under the redstone there, and uh, I think that'll work out for the best. Nobody, nobody, nobody start nothing up there. Nobody start nothing, there won't be nothing. And then I can actually put a proper, a proper ladder up to that platform. Alright, so I need to put one on top of him. And then, uh, there'll be one there. Right next to that guy? Yeah, right next to that guy. Not in that space there. Although, uh, I'm gonna need to put a leaf block there eventually. So let me go ahead and do that now. I don't even know if that was included in his, uh, in his instructions, but I know, 
I know a couple people mentioned that. Like some of the some of the comments on this build were mentioning that they were having problems with the the gold being dispensed out, spilling all over the place. And so the the main solution is to make sure that you have blocks that that kind of bounce them in. Um, okay. And we'll just go ahead and uh, make a nice giant platform like like that. Oh, I uh, I need a little more. Huh. I hope eight more will be enough. I need to top off the dies in my die box too. Probably need to top off the wool and start uh, spending some emeralds too to make sure I get even more glass. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. I also wasn't expecting that I am now short one scaffolding. Where did the one scaffolding go? Oh, wait, no. It's in the box, isn't it? Uh, I don't need that rail anymore. Uh, I do need to figure out what's going... What, what am I using to build a pillar? I think for now we'll just do this right here. Oh, <laughs> I just realized part of my problem. I should have had a bunch of potions of night vision because it looks it looks well lit up on my screen. It just for some reason XSplit isn't broadcasting out as well lit a picture as what I have on my end. Question mark. I I don't I don't know why. I wish I I wish I did know why. Um, matter of fact, let's uh, let's do this. Let's get my lighting box. And I'll grab some end rods for now. So that way I can start putting a little light around the place as I go. Yeah. yeah and what kills me is... This is a new problem. It didn't used to have this problem. Like it used to be that what I saw on my monitor is what showed up on XSplit and I'm waving to the two monitors off to my right <laughs> as opposed to the one monitor off to my left or the one in front of me. Um, yes, I live I live the multi-monitor life and love it. I believe everybody should do that. Um, so yeah, it, it wasn't always like this. I don't remember turning that on. Or is this a uh, bud update issue? Because uh, the nice thing, you know, the nice thing about Bedrock is you don't have to deal with some of those. Although, on the other hand, sometimes uh, block update, some of the some of the bud update things make redstone possible that wouldn't normally be. So it's one of those like. Uh, you know, good thing, bad thing, uh, yes, question mark. All right. I need to put some leaf blocks where the piglins will stay. Yeah, you know, I just, man, turnarounds and roundabouts, <laughs> you just, you don't know. Some, sometimes they are useful tools and sometimes they are frustrating problems. Yeah, yeah, exactly. 
Um, shoot. Uh, Alright. Because I need a leaf block under that guy. Alright, so let's do... Well, and there are some really neat tricks that can be done with block updates and, and using block update detectors. Just, uh, you know, sometimes, sometimes they're not helpful. And sometimes they are. All right, so that leaf block is going there. I need... Two more there, another one there. Yeah. But even even after the release of the Observer, uh, block update detectors really come in handy for certain redstone projects. And oh, that's that's right. I'm forgetting. I'm forgetting the one that needs to go under this guy. All right. Oh, no. Except that needs to be... I... <sighs> Except that needs to be one block back. Which means I didn't need that placeholder block there. Oh, Where did my slime block go? Uh, is it one of them days? It is one of them days. Okay. You can go back there. Alright. Uh, man. I may want to put one more one more leaf block under that guy except I didn't bring any more with me um, maybe no I, I've got some for another project so I'm about to rob Peter to pay Paul uh, the same leaves, but I don't care. <laughs> we'll see if Rast actually notices. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> and you... I think my biggest issue is that you can't, like, crouch on scaffolding to make sure that you don't uh, go too far. Oh, yeah. Nobody will ever notice that those are two different kinds of leaves. Nope. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. All right. Let me finish putting in the ice way before I do any more leafage there. Leafage? Foliage? You know what I meant. So I'll hang on to those for a minute. Uh, and I'm going to need some glass for for the top of the piglin cage. Uh, no, there's no good reason for the glass other than to be able to look in and see that they are there and okay. Um, you know what? Let's, uh, let's go with some green. Blend in with the glass. <laughs> or blend in with the leaves. Sure, why not? That's as good a reason, reason as any. Alright, alright. So I need... Two. One more over there. One more over here. And... One more is going to go on top of this, but i got to leave that open to, to get the piglins in. Piglins. Hoglins. 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 
I swear, I'll get it right. I'll glass that over, even though technically it's spawn proof already. Um, oh, I can't remember if that's going to be spawn proof or not. So you know what I'll do? I'll go ahead and put a leaf block there anyway. Just, just in case. Yeah, yeah, I... Because, of course, they couldn't pick two that were, you know, less close together when naming the critters. Yeah, I'll do... Uh, I'll leave the glass, because I don't need to worry about the slime block pulling into that glass. That's why the leaves are where they are. Slime blocks will not stick to leaf blocks. Alright. So far, so good. Um... Yeah, I, let's, let's see. That's the box. That, that's all set, that's all set. Let me figure out where the ice road's going here first, and then I'll be able to do the rest. And we'll go ahead and put one more block there, just for good measure. Um, any more down below? No. No. Okay. We'll see. All right, there is my three high piglin pl piglin palace. Sure, we'll call it a palace. I mean, they are going to be loaded with gold, so I don't, you know, I don't know. That that might be a little more apt. That uh, all right, I'll save the ladders for later because I do eventually want to replace the scaffolding, uh, but not right now. All right. Now is where we get to some more fun. Because I need to go ahead and get... Uh, here. As good as any. Go ahead and put one there. Because right in front of this, I'm going to need two blue ice. And I... Yeah, let's do it like that. Um, I guess I didn't realize that... or. Never really thought about the fact that uh, slime blocks don't uh, don't push chests. I mean that makes sense. It's just one of those things that I never I never really thought about. So those chests are there to align the items. So gold gets dropped in there. Everybody picks up an ingot, gives it a good look, drops their trade value trade. And then this sticky piston retracts. That one pushes them up against this chest. And just like a, with a water stream, because it's one pixel short of a full block, that means the items are going to ride the line of ice and hopper. And that way you don't have to worry about uh, weirdness with... with uh, so they'll, they'll get the benefit of sliding across the ice without having to worry about uh, not getting picked up by the hoppers. And we're going to put buttons on the ice, as odd as that seems, so that nothing spawns on the ice. Because again, the items are going to be riding in the space between the button and the outer edge of the ice. So they won't interfere with the movement of items. They will make sure that no gasticles come, come along and uh, ruin all this hard, hard work. Uh, now, for my next trick, I need to build the first... <laughs> the, the, the first bit of redstone for the storage slice. This is your, your bog standard impulse SV item sorter system with overflow protection. Uh, I just need to figure out cause how am I going to get this started? Uh, I need to go let's uh, 
Let's see if maybe moving this over here. Because once I get the first one down, the rest of it's going to be pretty, uh, pretty cut and paste, copy paste. Alright, um... So, I need... a hopper even with the ice, pointed out. Oh! I just wanted to break one. Not all of them. Easy break scaffolding is sometimes nice, and sometimes not. And you know what? I'm going to do storage in a different color. Just... Uh, I probably didn't bring enough of another color for storage. Ah, that's what I got the die box for, right? And I think I got some more... Yeah, I got, I got, I got plenty. Because I'm trying to keep the different different things different. So this operates the trading setup. The orange is going to operate the the storage, etc, etc. Um, and I think what I need it because I need another uh, hang on. That's gonna go there. Yes, that's going to go there, because this guy is going to go there. And that's going to be the start of the next bit of, uh, uh, of storage setup. Um, I need comparators and repeaters and dust, oh my. The comparators going here. One of these guys is going there. I'm going to need a block underneath there with a torch there. And for this setup, I'm going to need another hopper pointing away there. All right. So far, so good. So far, so good. Um, I need a block there with a repeater going there a block behind the repeater like so a block on top of the repeater like so three redstone dust and oh i need i need a filter item um that's what I forgot to bring. All right. If I'm doing 28 of those, that means I need what? Uh, what's 28 times 4? <laughs> a lot. That's what I need. I need a lot. No, seriously, would it, would it, uh, you know what, is there an anvil over here? I didn't bring the iron to flex, but, uh, I will if I have to. I don't care what you have to say about it. Alright, let's just, uh, let's just put this right here for now. Nope, 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 not yet. I'm not going to be that wasteful. Matter of fact, um... Uh, 
just grab an extra crafting table so I'm not running, but constantly running back and forth. That, that's getting annoying fast. And Mr. Behind the Curtain over there, the Great and Powerful Oz, isn't liking that either. And that also gives me a place to add another, another light. There we go. Alright, um... Let's see, 28 uh, is 56. Uh, 28, 56, um, 112. That was 90. Alright, we'll see if that's enough. Yeah, we'll just put that there. Light, light everywhere. Let there be light. There's my ironclad filter. Oh, I forgot to grab some of the uh <laughs> some of the uh some of the items that are gonna need to go into. Oh I am forgetting so much stuff. Alright, it's fine. This is fine. I'll manage. Not like that, I'm not. How do I keep falling into the piglin trap? Don't, don't answer that. Alright, um... Let me grab 20... 27 more. So that way I can go ahead and get a better sense for just how far this is going out. I did that right. It should be 27 more repeaters, right? 23, 24, 5, 6, 7. And that also has the benefit of spawn proofing all this. No, 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 no. Don't. <laughs> don't do that to me. All because you end up, depending on how far you go, that one pixel up or not. All right, that's how many more of these I got to build. All right. 
onward and forward we go. Um, as you guys know, I am a fan of Cord Killers. It is a podcast dedicated to uh, how to watch whatever you want to watch on whatever device you please. They talk a lot about movies and TV and devices and things. And uh, Tom got convinced to uh, to put together for his newsletter a list of his top five favorite Korean dramas. Because Tom and his wife have both been going through a bit of a Korean drama phase. So uh, if that is your thing, uh, you know, you might want to keep an eye out on his newsletter for that. Um what else? There, um, oh, there was so much. They, they opened up with a lot of Star Wars stuff. And Brian is trying to walk a very fine line between Brian the fan and Brian the guy who understands how business works. Because those two Brians are having very different experiences with all this. <laughs> uh... I made a tiny boo-boo. I definitely did not bring enough orange wool with me up here. Alright, let's, uh... Alright, the lighting across the way is five from the torch. So... Maybe... Maybe that'll be good enough to keep stuff from spawning? Find out in a minute. Let's leave a placeholder there. You know, let's go ahead and grab. All right, we'll see how far that gets me. <laughs> I knew I should have grabbed more, more of uh, more of each. Because there, there, there's Brian the businessman who understands that that Disney's trying to extract the value of the purchase price out of what they bought when they bought Lucasfilms. There's Brian the Star Wars fan who is really kind of mad that the first thing they did was crap on the extended universe... And, uh, you know, double down on making a universe so small you can't go more than a planet away without running into a Skywalker or a Solo. Um, which had the effect of making what was a really big universe feel really, really small. Um... But now there are more more stories in the works. Uh, the Kenobi project is finally going to hit Disney Plus. Um, apparently, behind the scenes, it was supposed to be a Kenobi movie, not a Kenobi television show. And I'm not I'm not entirely sure how I feel about that, to be honest. Um, because that, yeah, I just, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that one. Because I'm not sure that that helps either way. Because on the one hand, I really think that having the constraint, well, and uh, I, I should back up and mention also that uh, the Book of Boba Fett was originally supposed to be a movie and not a tele television series. Uh, based off of what they gave us in the television series, uh, I wonder if they had enough for a movie. Uh, however, comma, I think having the the freedom of a, a uh, Having, having the freedom that doing it as a TV series gave them. 
Um, I don't even know that they'd want to run its own trilogy. I think they're okay with single Star Wars movies so long as they advance the broader universe, which would be fine. Uh, I, I think the problem is that because they had the luxury of time with a that a television series brings, they allowed themselves to get far more esoteric than they should have allowed themselves to get. Like, like that, there it was not. What we were given in the television series was not enough for a movie or a television series. And I really think that that comes in no small part to the fact that they, because they had the time to spread it out, they didn't pare down the stuff that didn't need to be there. And because they didn't pare down the stuff that didn't need to be there, keeping the writing tight the action focused uh, they well okay and and whoever whoever came up the, with the little Vespa biker gang really really their 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 employment contract needs to be reevaluated or at least the projects upon which they work Uh, I can't remember if it was Tom or Brian one of them brought up the fact that one of the things that would have helped Disney <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, and, and that's what I'm getting at, is I really think that some of the poor poor choices are a direct result of the medium. I really, I, I'm coming to believe that the, the biggest disservice they did to themselves, as well as to the fans, was to... to uh, to, to give themselves enough freedom to hoist on their own petard. Um, yeah, well, the mystery did help, but there were also a lot of extended universe bits of Boba Fett that would have made far better stories than what we got out of Book of Boba Fett. I'm still having a hard time believing that his encounter with the Sand People and having a family is what finally made him decide to grow roots in a place and develop a family. Even if it's, you know, an Italian kind of family, you know what I mean? Uh, that That's what, that's one of those that it's like, uh, okay, okay. okay. Um, yeah, well... I don't think they trusted the audience enough, which definitely doesn't help. They definitely did not make Boba very interesting. This was supposed to be the capable uh, object of some shaft lyrics. Because <laughs> he's one bad... Watch your mouth. Uh, okay, kids ask your parents. Uh, and he wasn't, he wasn't, uh, uh, that strong of a godfather type figure. He wasn't that major, a solo combatant. I mean, this was supposed to be the guy that Vader had to chide into no disintegration, uh, you know, who was clever enough to recognize a common smother smuggler trick that fooled everybody else but you know where was that boba now on the other hand uh he did die like a chump uh into the sarlacc pit so uh i i know others feel a little differently about about that particular that particular bit so uh, I won't rub too much salt in that wound. Uh, I, I already hear the furious clackety clacketing of typing, and I can't tell if it's because Arcadius is playing the game he's playing or he's typing in a treatise on uh, Boba Fett. <laughs> but I mean, the the man the man we were presented with 
was not what we saw in the prequels or in the original trilogy. He was not the capable strategic mind. He was, yeah, I, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll stop before I go too much further. Um, but that's just it. He wasn't a, he wasn't a klutz the first time we saw him. He was a very capable hunter the first time we saw him. He was just up against a level of prey that he didn't normally, I don't know if he didn't normally deal with or just, you know, it was a little beyond what he had planned for or expected or maybe the constraints, but. Yeah. Well, I mean, some some of that comes from you, you're taking an actor who played the role how long ago? Uh, <laughs> I mean, surely surely Lucas Arts could uh, help him at least make appear a little more fit than he did. But at least the story gave us a reason for for the uh, the Mandalorian that we saw, not to be confused with the Mandalorian who somehow, uh, you know, ma some Mandalorian Season 3 previews got mixed in with the Book of Boba Fett or something. Uh, you know, some young punk with the Darksaber came up and uh, just absolutely <laughs> uh, stole the show. Him and his little buddy. By the by, can I, can I just mention that there is... Where somebody got ripped off of some Beskar because there's no way that spear only made that tiny chainmail shirt. Uh, unless you're going to say that the spear was hollow instead of solid, which I, I kind of doubt, but okay, that, that could be a thing. Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, somebody got, somebody got ripped off on that one. <laughs> And that is not all right. Yeah, yeah. I, and I kind of hate it because, you know, we just spent all this time following this much beloved character uh, meander around the desert, uh, play play uh, Last of the Mohicans or... or uh, uh, what was the Tom Cruise one? The Littlest Samurai. No, sorry, The Last Samurai. Tom is the Littlest Samurai. The show was the last, or the movie was The Last Samurai. So, you know, we got Dances with Samurais happening with Sand People. Um, which is fine if that's what, you know, like, stick with it. But in the middle of, yeah. <laughs> But in the middle of uh, Dances with Samurais, we suddenly got a heist job for no good reason. I mean, it would have been kind of nice to to have explored why they were trying to rob the train other than, you know, it was there or that's where the money was or they're protecting territory. I could understand protecting territory if... Uh, if, uh, you know, they had actually given us a little bit more than just that. Alright, um. Sorry, I just realized that I, I made the reference image a smidge too small. Because, oh yeah, alright. This is not going to be fun. Because now I need the next set of hoppers. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they need to be. I don't know. I think I'd actually buy Danny DeVito taking ninjutsu classes a lot more than some of the stuff I saw. <laughs> I just... 
I, and I, I think what kills me even more is that when Boba Fett appeared in season two of The Mandalorian, he just showed up kicking some butt. Like, he comes in looking for his armor, and he's got his bantha stick, and he will he will teach you what the Sand People shillelagh is like if you don't get out of his way and give him back his armor. Uh, where did that guy go? Because he wasn't, the, he wasn't there in his own series. One, two, three, four... There we go. Oh. <laughs> okay, that yeah, well, yeah. I I really should be mad about that, but I can't be mad about that. Plastic shields and choreography glasses. I, <laughs> yeah, that one kind of bothered me a little bit too. Like, uh, how how did he get set up in an ambush like that? How how did somebody with the situ situational awareness that was shown <laughs> elsewhere in other official properties, never mind the EU, that uh, you know. Uh, a certain organization would prefer to pretend didn't exist, and you know what? Fine, if you're going to do that, then... Ah. Anyway. Alright, I'll stop. I'll stop. But, yeah, Cord Killers talked about that and a whole bunch of other stuff that was wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... You don't even have to go with the Frisbee Shields. Like, to uh, an assassin and the bounty hunter get jumped in the middle of the street. Like, that really is all we need to say. It, it is go, uh... I'm sorry, what? You, you did just show me that the premier assassin and bounty hunter... got jumped in the middle of the street and needed help from the Vespa gang. Three, four. And that is going to be Oh, yeah, yeah, I was kind of hoping for something a little closer to, you know, uh, a helmet full of coins and a few coins more. <laughs> oh, man, I got to go watch some Clint Eastwood again, because, I mean, I, the, 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 the whole format of, yeah. The, the, the whole format of The Mandalorian, and to a lesser extent, Boba Fett, really does have me itching for a good Western. Although, The Mandalorian, especially in the first season, really did stick to a good Western, you know, feel, by all accounts. Two. Three. Sorry, trying to keep tabs on how many things are going where, because I got the two groups of four. One, two, three, three groups of three. So I got my two groups of four. 
my first group of three. One, two, three for the second. One, two, three for the third. of two, so we got one, two, three groups of two. Um, and apparently Brian Brushwood went and saw the movie Men, and let's just say in the Patreon only after talk, he had, uh, he had opinions. He had very, very strong opinions about that movie. All right, the rest of those are straight down. Uh, they also talked a little about about the upcoming uh, She-Hulk movie, and uh, <laughs> I, I find it interesting the reviews I get from different places. Like, uh, I think Brian is justifiably uh, <laughs> cautious about wanting to. You know, he wants to like it because he liked the comic. But Marvel's track record of late has been a little spotty. And so it it kind of becomes like, well, I mean, I want to like it. But let me get some lights under here now that I got this part done. One, two, three, four. Because I want to make sure that those guys don't create weird light update issues either. I'm not sure how it is on Bedrock, but on Java... You, on a server, you can actually cause lag issues with lighting update from redstone blinking on and off. So you need the light level by the redstone to be higher than 5. So when those torches turn on and off, it doesn't trigger uh, lighting updates. Which reminds me, I need to do the same here as well. Let's just go ahead and throw one of those guys there, one of those guys there. Mm. There we go. That is excessively excessive, but... I know that'll be <laughs> that'll work. <laughs> I almost want to throw one there just because. Yeah, let's do that. I still need to get that. Uh, I still need to get the uh, the blaze rod farm going because we've got a blaze spawner not far from. Not far from where the, the entrance is, and I keep intending to turn that into a farm. That way that way I can set up a coarse root farm and we'll have endless end rods, which would be kinda nice, and fuel for brewing stands. More fuel for brewing stands than we know what to do with. Alright, I need I need storage. Now Mm -hmm. 
this is set up doing the standard three, four, five, six. Yeah, this deal. Um, however, comma, I wouldn't mind getting it. I, I, I've been, I've been trying to get back into a tight staggered storage like I did over there just because I, I got kind of tired of trying to figure out which box was the one that was empty and which box was the one that was full. And this really does kind of solve that problem there. And it also makes decorating a little bit easier in that you don't have to hide an entire column's worth. You just have to hide um, everything above that box there because you, you can put a stair on top of this guy and put up a wall and that makes the decoration worlds worlds easier and that works like this all right um all right uh where's the beginning of my note yes except i didn't leave myself a note on that I really wish I had somebody to blame for that. Sadly, I have no one to blame but myself. Oh well. I forgive me. <laughs> <'Cause I laughs> Alright. Because there, there is a little bit of a change to the storage setup down towards the end. And we'll we'll figure that out in a minute. Let me let me get the other uh 28 rows of this. Ugh. Digging into my stacks of chests and hoppers. Um, I'll put the leaves away for now because I really wanted to. I needed 20, 27 more after that. Yeah, 27 more for 28 total. All right. Just trying to get a better sense of where everything needs to be. Chests and, uh, chests and hoppers. Didn't hear somebody spawn on this, did I? Please, please tell me they're, they're under the, under where I'm standing, right? Okay. Okay. I, I was like, oh, please tell me I didn't. I didn't make that mistake. Oh. Before I forget, I don't think I mentioned it on Twitter. I think I just mentioned it in uh, Andrew Heaton's Discord um, this morning. I'm trying to pour my coffee. I'm running late for work. See, aforementioned, I need to pour some coffee. Uh, 
and I hear Jabba next to me, very uh, going at his water dish, and making very disgruntled noises, like super disgruntled noises. Like what is going on? And I look over. There is one stray kibble from his breakfast sitting in the water of his water dish. And because of that one stray kibble, he's trying to fish it out of the water. And smart puppy he may be. Try, trying to fish one little kibble out of water is apparently a little more than his uh, coordination is up to. And so he is very angrily grumping at... Grumping at the uh, the water dish. Because he can't get the one bit of kibble out. I think he ended up drinking like half the water dish. Trying to get that one piece of kibble out. And then, you know, he's looking at me all happy with himself. Drool. Long, drippy drool dripping down from his face. And he w looks like he wants to come up and, you know, rub up against my leg or something. It's like, dude, no. Go <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. You gotta love him. Speaking of which, huh? No, no. He must be behind Arcadius. He's usually behind one of us. Alright, I gotta keep an eye on time. Uh. Nah. I should be able to get this finished tonight. Uh, I may not get the piglins in tonight. But I will definitely be able to get the redstone and everything in place. Unless I do stuff like that. stories from Daily Tech News Show that I wanted to share, but I did not write them down because I knew, I surely this time, I would remember. And surely this time I did not remember. That has been a little bit of an issue lately. Now, and, and I mean, my boss's boss is kind of joking like, I don't know, Bo. Sounds like getting old to me. Uh... <laughs> This is a little more than just getting old. I mean, there is that too. Don't, you know, see aforementioned discussion about corded rotary phones and 8-track. And, uh, you know, uh, still, it still makes me groan that the podcasting party had declared Alice in Chains to be classic rock. Uh, I, I'm waiting for uh, for Red Hot Chili Peppers to be named one of the Golden Oldies. Uh, and then I start wondering, like, you know, what, what, you know, if those, if Alice in Chains and Red Hot Chili Peppers are are now classic rock and old music, where, where does that put bands like Judas Priest? Like, is that going to be the 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 like the fifties music was when I grew up. Like is Judas Priest now that that weird aberrant Beach Boys type music that uh you know we kind of sort of remember the the metal that Grandpa listens to. 
Judas Priest and Poison and Ozzy and... I think Ozzy has a different inflection on, on Ozzy. Or maybe that was just Sharon. Oh, Ozzy. For that matter, where does that put ACDC? Because ACDC definitely got their start back in the uh, in the seventies too. <sighs> can can I reach that chest? So that's where all those hoppers were going to go. <laughs> like, man, are, are they sure that's... I mean, that seems like an awful lot of hoppers. And then I start thinking, yeah, then I start putting in storage. And it's like, oh, oh, yeah. That's, uh, that's where all that's going. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Think about how much lumber is represented in this storage system here. How, how many how many trees had to give their all? That's uh, you know that that's two two logs per chest. 28 rows of six double chests. There's another two logs to go in the hopper. There's a hopper at each of the <laughs> at each chest in the 28 rows, as well as three, four more above them. That, uh, hmm. How am I going to do this last one? Oh. How good's my flying? <laughs> Perfect. Let's see if uh, I can do... Well, I didn't want to stand up there like that, but okay. There we go. That works. And yes, I am not entirely done with the storage yet anyway. Although I am a little curious. Uh, I gotta double check because uh, I'm not sure I have the right number of ice even though I followed the, uh, the materials list in the video description. Oops. There we go. Storage complete. All right, I need I need items. I need items to put in said storage. Uh, all right. I think somebody left a bunch of random trade items in here. Yeah. There we go. All right. I need four blackstone. I need four gravel. I need some spectral arrows. Alright, let's uh let's start at the beginning. Cause these first four are blackstone. I know technically I need more than just four for each of these filters, but as long as I got at least one in place. That's uh that'll be that'll be enough to 
three, four. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to put some signs out here too. Alright, one, two, three, four. Alright, uh, spectral arrows. I've got some. I've got some in my storage. All right, let's uh, let's run back to the mountain real quick. Hi right, guys, I I'm still gonna get something that encourages you guys to jump off the cliff. That that doesn't sound wrong at all. Nope, not even a little bit. Go ahead and see if I've got everything else that I'll just grab here. I know I know that that box that somebody left a bunch of random stuff in is there. Uh, I'll probably just load that up at some point later. Alright, I need three spectral arrows. Uh, if I were me, I had to put the arrows in the box labeled arrows. No, I don't know why I don't have those in the... Uh, sorter because this was supposed to be for non stackables I I, I don't know <laughs> although I don't I don't use that many arrows since I started using an infinity bow uh, although now that we have ridiculous amounts of all sorts of arrows available I might go back to uh, the mending bow because I always get kind of worried that you know yes that has 144 durability left but uh what happens when I run into that situation when I need 145? You know what I mean? Alright, uh, spectral arrows. I need quartz. Just three quartz. I need some iron nugs. Just three. Uh two soul sand uh, if I were me I would have <laughs> uh, two soul sand two nether bricks and a partridge in no uh Two ender pearls, and I'll just use two of those. I need a string. Do I even have a spot for string? No, uh, surely I have a spot for string. Because of course I have a spot for string. A string, a fire charge. That should probably not be in my hand. Uh a crying obsidian and a regular obsidian and I know there's leather in the box because <laughs> the inventory is full again amazing how quickly that happens but don't worry guys we'll be trading soon too I need some emeralds. I need to work on building up my emerald stockpile too. There's so many times where I kind of, I kind of, I need to do, I need to do the buying spree like right now, and I hate that I gotta stop, trade up the emeralds, and then go on the buying spree. Eventually, I'll come back here with uh, signs and, or not signs, uh, you know what I mean. Uh, item frames. Even though the item frames are not, <laughs> will we'll definitely keep things uh, slightly laggy. Uh, I definitely, right, gravel. Spectral arrows. One. Spectral arrow. Two. And three. 
quartz one, quartz two, quartz three, iron nug one, iron nug two, and three. I almost want to switch it out so that way it's uh, three soul sand and two iron nuggets, but uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how this goes. It's not like I can't change it up later. Uh, another brick. One. Another brick. Two. Ender pearl one, ender pearl two, string, fire charge, crying obsidian, obsidian, and some leather. Okay, yeah. Uh, <laughs> We, we might have a leather problem right now, in that we have an obscene amount of leather. Oh, wait, no, until I go, uh, until I go making item frames, then it won't, then it won't be a lot of leather. Alright. Now, I need to add three more storage columns at the same level, and then one more a little funky. So I need one, two, three. trying to figure out how I'm going to do the other one because that that actually presents a, a little bit of a conundrum uh, hmm. no I okay no no I got it I got it I got this at the same storage level the other one I need a space between them for some of the some of the stuff that's gonna go in and he and logical geek boy has so these guys are supposed to be your standard column setup and oh, okay so these chests are technically supposed to be so the hopper goes there and these are one wide like this and that's not that bad uh, my only problem is that um, the whole reason for doing this like this I want to keep this as well so let's uh, let's figure this out real quick. Let's start with the more important part. As I slide down the ice. We Alright, uh Congratulations, you are now a temporary block. 
Because the ultimate goal is that one block forward and one block over is the next hopper going into storage. So that should be going there like this. chest coming off like this. Uh, I guess I can go like that. And then... Do I do it sideways? Or... Do I start going... Like that. So that goes there. And then I can s continue the regular stagger. Except this is, this is going to be off a little bit. Unless I go like that. Nope. That's, that's not going to... That's going to... Uh, You'll see why I do need to make sure that the, the hopper is one forward and one off to the side. Um... Hello, I guess if I just, um... Ah, we got this. See? It all worked out in the end. I mean, I knew it was going to all work out in the end. So if I put items in there, that should still go there. And everything else is going to travel as we need it to. And this is all going to get hidden behind decorative whatnot anyway. So, uh, yep, mission accomplished. There we go. Done and dusted. I am chuffed to bits. <laughs> Snap, crackle, pop. All right. Um, one of the things that is different with this design than the one I built in Season 1 is it's actually going to sort out the potions separate from the boots and books. I'm not sure how I feel about the boots and books also being uh, the overflow, because I, I wouldn't mind a little extra overflow. Uh, but... On the flip side, we're not going to save the splash potions. We're only going to save the regular potions. Because I don't I don't know that we ever used the splash potions. And if we do, it's not like we don't have a gunpowder farm to turn them into splash potions. And, and I'd say they're free, but we're trading gold. So, no, they're not free. But not free, 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 but uh, free adjacent Let's, uh, oh, uh, I need more, I need more orange dye. That, that's what, yellow and red? I mean, of course I knew it was yellow and red. Don't tell Beach Duck. Oh, oh, hush. <laughs> Hi. Don't worry. We'll we'll, we'll get you uh, we'll get you squared away soon. All right. Uh, now the fun part. Uh, this is this is part of sorting, 
but I'm not sure I want to use the same color as the other sorting because this is for a separate portion of of sorting and storage. So let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, and set the remainder of the orange aside, and we'll do we'll do red for this one. here I need to go a temporary block back and then one two I'm gonna put air quotes on temporary oh come on are you kidding me why, why am I going through all this extra effort I don't know It's not like I don't have scaffolding right here or anything. There we go. I should light things up over here as well, at least temporarily. Alright, so I got those two guys right there, and then we're gonna go over one. And then there. And then forward one. Oh, come on. Pick him up, man. And then one. Alright, so that's. And one, two, three. Wait. Oh, because that's off of the wrong... Uh, 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 that's off of the wrong one. <laughs> it's two from the back of this guy. Off of this guy, we got these two out this way, and then the space and the one. And still can't catch for nothing. You'd think I play for the Dodgers. And then we've got a space and a glass block. I can't remember if that's the glass block I think it is or not, but we'll go with it. 59, 60, 61, 62. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Just double checking. Alright, now I need to go adding in some extra hoppers. Um, and this should be part of the hopper line. I have everything I need out of here because uh, I don't want to run back again, again, again. Uh, I'll hang on to those for the moment so I don't need the blocks of iron yet. Or I don't need the ladders yet. I don't need the nylium, the netherrack, or the fungus, or the torches yet. That's going to be for when I make a piglin spawning platform. Uh, matter of fact, that's why I had a stack of trap doors. Well, let's go ahead and grab those just so that way they're all here. Um, the trap doors go for that project. The signs will go for when this is finished. Uh, I'm going to need the power rail here in a minute. I'm going to need that in a minute. Oh, 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 oh. I'm going to need... Oh, hush. I'm going to need my uh, eternal flint and steel. 
been too long since we played D and D too. Wonder what I gotta do to get a uh, eternal flint and steel in D and D. Like, is that just a magic item with prestidigitation on it? Because one of the things you can do with prestidigitation is uh, um. Uh, foot of flame. Yeah, that that shouldn't have taken that long to. I I don't. I'm sorry. All right. Um. Start adding the hoppers like so is not my my best uh, my best set of instructions, if I might say so. Those are going over that. I can only assume that's at least one further up. So that should go there. Then one, two. And then one, two. Yes. Yeah, that is the right height. Okay. And one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I'll have to fish my, uh, let me do that now before I forget. So that's one, two, three, four, and then I've got one going this way, one this way, two, and um, there is going to be one of my two remaining droppers. Of course. Fine, fine. All right. Uh, and so those two. to go that way into the dropper pointing forward. All right, yep, and that is that is the one that I thought it was. So, we're going to need a target block next to him here. We're going to need a glass block on that side there, a glass block on that side there, a temporary block, and a glass block there. Um, that's where the, the lava for overflow is going to go. I'm not going to put the lava in just yet because I'd just as soon not fall in it in the middle of construction. Not that that would ever happen. Alright, uh, he's got the clock set up a little differently than I normally do for these sorts of things, but, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go making adjustments just in case there's aspects of this that, that I don't, I don't quite understand. Definitely a possibility. Alright, that needs to be in subtract mode. And there's going to be a big old block there. I mean, I've used this clock before. It's just not my my usual go-to design. Alright, redstone there and there. And then... Uh, there's going to be a dust there. A repeater there and a big block right there.
Yes. So that is powering that block. There's the dust there. We got dust block. Or sorry, the signal's going. Comparator in subtract block dust. Power boost. Target block. Okay. Okay, and so uh, where is this guy going? Dropper. I thought that was the dispenser. Oh, wait, no, 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 that's right. That should be a dropper. All right, so if I'm looking at the front, there's this guy, this guy. So the dropper goes there. The brewing stand goes in front, and there should be three more pointing that way. And then we start doing the loop-de-loo, -loo, and I need three going like so. Yeah? Yeah. And then since these hoppers don't need to get anything off the top, we'll go two, three, four, around, two, three. That should at least help with some of the lag as best we can. Always nice, said the server admin. And then we need to get this guy wired up. All right. So behind the dropper, and that is a dropper. We're going to add a redstone comparator. And a block. And the last torch. Then we get to add some more solid blocks. So on the same level as the block with the torch, we go, if I'm looking at it this way, we're gonna get one more diagonally black like so. In front of those two guys right there, we got our funky little Tetris L and one more on the diagonal. Yes. All right. Um, powered rail on top of the dropper on top of, or behind the brewing stand. And then we're going to get a dust. A repeater. And a block goes there. And a block goes there. And one of the dwindling bits of dust goes there. Alright. Yeah, don't forget the dust behind the two blocks. So if I'm looking at it this way, there's the dust, the two diagonal blocks are repeater on a smidge of delay. Yeah. Smidge is a technical term. Target block there. 
a dispenser there. And then we need to make this dispenser smart. S-M-R-T. Smart. Isn't that what this is? The season of smart? Take a better shot of the the red. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay. Uh, so comparator, repeater, and that it. Oh, that is in subtract mode. There's a big old block there. Another block there. Some dust there. Some dust there, right? Yeah. So if I'm looking at it this way, like I have in the screenshot, we got the signal coming from the dispenser into a comparator in subtract mode to a block, to a dust, to a block, to a repeater, to a dust, to the target block. And then, and knowing that, and then we get to put a little glass over on this side for spawn proofing. Do I do red or yellow? I think I'll go get red. Um... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Nine more. Because what I need to do here is I need to go ahead and put my lava in there. And put my glass over the lava so unfortunate things don't happen. Covering that? I think I am. Find out soon enough. Alright, so the lava pit is there, and I need to go get about nine ish red glass. Oh, except for here. This is a perfect place to use some of the last three. Because what's going to happen is we're going to extend this ice way out. And items are going to go in here. This dispenser is going to try to dispense the item. If it is uh, shoes or a book or a regular potion, it'll end up getting dropped in there and moved on to the next stage. If it is a splash potion, it'll actually get dispensed and it'll hit that glass block and get consumed. So that way we're not clogging up storage with splash potions that we never used. We always used the drinkables, never the splash. So that takes care of that. Um, and then it's going to go further down into this guy here. And this dropper is going to try to insert it into the brewing stand. And if it does go into the brewing stand, it's going to go back around the corner into potion storage. If it does not go into the brewing stand, it's going to go down into this side. So that means the only thing left in that last slice there is going to be books and shoes. Technically, there is a way to, to try to separate out the shoes from everything else. But... Uh, I... I uh, I can't believe I'm going to say this. Especially because some people are going to use this against me at the earliest opportunity. Even, even I have my limits as to what I'm willing to over-engineer. And that's just a little more than I want to do. Uh, 
I'll do it again. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do it at some other point. Um, do I not have one over there? I feel like I should have one over there. And I know that I technically don't need glass over that, but I'd feel better with it like that. Same there. And... I think I've got a couple other things that need to go in here, so I'm not going to do too much more over there just yet. All right, we need to add the last two ice down the road. We are now that further on down the road. You know the blues tune? Go ahead and sing it. My last two hoppers are going in place. That one goes into the dispenser, and that goes in there. And then the last thing I need to do is um, light a fire. Because <laughs> uh, that fire will, will uh, anything that doesn't get picked up by the hoppers. So like say the, the obsidian starts overflowing and there's no more obsidian over here. None of these other hoppers will pick it up. Oh, well, overflow will start picking up until overflow fills up, and then it's just going to go into the fire. So we've got two different disposal units there. And uh, technically, he's got another rack uh, and a fire, but I, I just like the blue flames better. I know. Uh, there's no good reason for it to be anything other than what it is. I do need to, I do need to go make sure that I put some half slabs over this, though. Because we found out the hard way that, <laughs> that uh, if you're not careful, uh, stuff will still spawn on the fire. And uh, that's, that's not what we want. No, there's no good reason to cover those, but I am anyway. Uh... All right, so let me go grab some slabs. What 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 slabs am I going to use to cover that? Should uh, I guess that depends on what I have. Although I think we still got some more blackstone over here. Oh hush, because I think I'm going to finish decorating this in blackstone, and I'll decorate that in blackstone so they feel like similar buildings. And. Uh, yeah, let me uh, let me go make a, a couple of a couple of stairs and uh, all right. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not paying those prices. Where's my toolbox? Let me go grab a stone cutter. I don't think that anvil's going to... Yeah, no, because this is a chipped anvil now. Um, all right, stone cutter. I'm going to go ahead and we'll do some... Um, one, two, three, four polished stairs. And two... Polished slabs. I'm going to put this away, even though I'm quite certain I will probably end up needing it again. Because that's just the way this works. I never need something until I've already put it away. I'm going to keep trying to put that chipped anvil away, too. I need to find a home for that. Where, uh, where do we need an anvil? I don't think we need one over there on the regular. I don't even know that we need one over here on the regular. Uh, uh, I'll find a home for it before too long. I'll find a home for it. Or maybe I'll just toss it in the fire. Although that, 
feels too wasteful to me. All right, so, oh, I should have made more stairs. And now for no good reason, I have sleep now and the fire is stuck in my head. And I did that to myself. My main concern is getting slabs over those flames. That way they're not spawnable. Because when we have... Uh, <laughs> that's blocking the view. Um, when we set up the flames on the portals there, we found out the hard way that uh, a zombie pigman would spawn <laughs> on, on the flaming soul sand. Even though soul sand is not a full block and uh, it's fire, uh, the zombie piglins would still spawn there. So that, that's why we have the new froggy looking place. And that's why I just spent all that time putting this together here. Um, yeah, I'll figure something else out in a minute, but that takes care of, that takes care of things for now. That's good enough for the moment. All right, so this is uh, the farm. The farm is done. All the storage is primed. I just need to, uh, oh. Uh, the reason why we have like four yeah, let's head back this way so earlier you saw me set up like four blackstone bits um, and then four gravel bits and so on and so forth that is roughly based on the ratios of how frequently they, they are produced by the piglins because hoppers have this weird thing where if they pick up a certain number of things, they they have a little bit of a cool off where they won't pick up something for so many so many ticks afterwards. I forget the exact math and numbers, but the the point being, once uh, once some items zip past the hopper and move on to the next thing, uh, items can get missed due to the hopper cooldown. So by having a couple of hoppers picking up the same thing, you're less likely to end up with things in overflow that aren't technically overflow. So with this setup, you're highly unlikely to end up with blackstone overflow because there's four hoppers picking it up. Same with the gravel and so on and so forth down the line. And some of them, like the, the string, is rare enough a drop that one hopper should be enough to to catch it when it comes by same with the fire charges and the obsidian and the crying obsidian and the the leather those are all rare enough that you shouldn't asterisk have to worry about too much ending up in overflow because just of how rare they are to show up um, although i mean now that I said that, we're probably going to have a weirdly abundant amount of those things because, you know, because, 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 because. Uh, let's go ahead and, you know, I think I am going to set up the ladders for now because I've got a bunch of this black wool. And I'm going to go... That's going to get me in line with that one. So I need one back. And there. One, two, three. Like one, two, three. Yeah, sure. And I think I'll dress this up later. I, I will probably go ahead and replace this with uh, some vine of some sort because I find that far, far more thematic and appropriate. But uh, that gets us there, and that means that I can also... I don't need that light there, because we got enough lights around here. Uh, I just need to get 24? 24 piglins in there? Let me just double-check that number real quick. Uh... Uh, 24 piglins, and let me go ahead and grab that real quick so I can put down the sign before I forget. Um, and I don't need the scaffolding, which is always a little bit of a liability because the scaffolding is technically a spawnable block. Um, 
That also means that I can get rid of that scaffolding there too. I need to I need to make sure that whenever I build the final setup for this that I build myself um, some way to get back in the redstone in case I need to. Because uh, with my luck, that's yeah, that w that will be a need. Uh, so let's grab the toolbox. I can put the scaffolding away. Oh, I did have ladder. It's sitting in my toolbox. Of course the ladder's in my toolbox. Why wouldn't it be in my toolbox? I... I... I oh, hush. I hear you over there. Let me go ahead and put my flint and steel back in the backpack. I'll go min that up later. Uh, so I just need... I just need the, the yahoos in there and then to start decorating this place. Uh, I will come back with the oak leaves, though, and try to make sure that all the possible places where uh, stuff could end up getting dropped out is, is uh, blocked up. Not like I had too much of the wrong food blocked up, but blocked up and there's less places for things to go where they ought not. And wool is not the ideal scaffolding, but it's what I had in my hand. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out how to make this look pretty. Alright, and so I need that built up, that built up. Um, I can definitely, because there that needs to stay clear. But that can go there. Technically need access to that. Let me go grab three more glass, and uh, and then that should be that should be about as good as it can be. Three more green, green. Uh, I'll toss all that in here for now, because I do need to come back for, uh, for the piggies. And I'll need to put a sign somewhere where it's gonna, where it should always end up. Like, I think I'm gonna leave a lot of this where it is. I don't know what I'm gonna do about this area here, but since the switch is here, and I wanna make sure the switch is always available, uh, Piglin bar Bartering. Logical geek boy up. Oh. Not enough letters. And there we go. That is the URL for this particular farm. It is uh, the Fast Piglin Bartering Farm by Logical Geek Boy. Uh, it was published relatively recently, too. And, oh, there's no E at the end of that. Um, we got squid ink in my die kit, right? Yeah, there we go. And then, oh, oh, that's right. I was up there to put the green glass over the, yeah. Hmm. I'll have to change that up. That's, that's not pretty. All right. Uh, then I just need to do something about there. Okay. I'm, I'm sure I can, I'm sure I can, uh, I'll figure something out. Gold, gold goes in there. Matter of fact, I can go ahead and load up some bars that we've got chilling over here. I'm going to leave a stack because I'd like to belt and suspenders those guys. So I'm going to try to give them uh, a helmet and a name tag to make sure that, that they... Um, <laughs> 
that they don't disappear on me. <laughs> as much as possible, the pigs need to live. All right, and that's going to distribute them evenly amongst the three the three droppers. So we got 18... Uh, up, up. Let me wait until this is done, and then uh, I'll look and double check. Because the hopper minecart should be picking them up uh, faster than... Yeah, so it's picking up faster than the hoppers are pulling them, and the hoppers are pulling them in three so in a minute that should be done I do I do want to put an item frame with a gold ingot to label that as gold input uh, I would love to find a way to make sure that that minecart cannot get moved at all at all at all uh, so I'll, I'll I'll contemplate that one. Maybe I'll just put like a giant wall of walls up this side. You know, I uh, get some of the blackstone. Eh, yeah, there we go. There we go. Uh, matter of fact, let me just go ahead and uh, steal a little bit of the blackstone out of here. And I'll grab. What kind of. Oh, um, shoot. I put my. Uh, I put my stone cutter away. Uh, let's go ahead and do the brick. That's almost certainly more than I need. That's not going to help me put that away. All right. Let's uh, let's put some walls up just so that way uh, <laughs> nothing nothing unfortunate happens here. Oh, are you kidding? Ah. It's not enough. But you can still reach that. Uh, matter of fact, I might. Oh, that does defeat the purpose of that now, doesn't it? Um, shoot. I need something not as tall as a wall, but, uh, oh, maybe an iron bar for that one. That. that should keep it from going too far that way. I just need an iron bar there. Ooh, I've got leftover iron bars, don't I? No. No. Yeah, let's go ahead and make some more. I kind of hate that you make them in groups of 16, but on the other hand, that uh, I don't... Yeah. Oh, no. We used more iron. The irony. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll call that. We'll call that okay for now. Alright, so I'm going to need stuff out of there for getting the piglins. Let me just consolidate all the leftover... Oh, not those all the leftovers from this project in there i only need one more one more green block up there for the top of the piglin box and then that means that everything else is good to go i'm gonna go ahead and clean all this up for now Except for the part where I need to put a couple items in the project box. Uh, <laughs> like the glass that I pulled for that very purpose. I'm going to go ahead and drop these in there for now. I'll take the signs with me so that way I can take that and put it in there for now. There's no good reason for it to be in there, but it's in there. Let's uh, clean up so that way I'm not accused of leaving chest monsters floating around. I'm going to need the rails for moving the piggies. I'm going to need the project box for moving the piggies. Uh, random empty shulker boxes, random. And then my die, 
my glass, my wool. Hang on to the shield, and then everything where I normally keep it. Beautiful. I've got a nice spawn-proof farm ready to go. I, I will come back up with a bunch of sticks. So I can start labeling these two, because I really would like to make sure that these are all uh, label, <laughs> labeled what they are. Because I know me, I will forget. I may, I may even find a way to add just a little more book storage over here too. Because I think, I think I could probably put a few more chests set up. So that way there's another, yeah. Yes, I could. Oh yeah, I definitely could. Okay, um. Do, do I have enough spare chests and hoppers floating around to do that real quick? I mean, real quick. No big deal, right? Uh, no, two chests in there. Uh, surely I got more somewhere. Uh, no, I only got two in there as well. Uh, wait, I've got... I've got some extra spruce in here, right? Alright. Uh, how much do I need? I need... Two, four, six, eight... Eight logs for, um, the chests. Is that really all? I thought there was going to be more than that. Because we're going to go, bam. And, bam. Okay. I was right. I need, uh... Oh. Because <laughs> I was only counting enough logs for single chests, not double chests. Oh, yeah. And then the next one is going to go there. Next one's going to go there. And now I need one, two, three. Yeah, one, two, three, four hoppers? Three or four. And I think I've got that in my other redstone box. Don't let me forget to top that off. Uh, I mean, I, I hate digging into that, even though that's the sole reason why I have those extra. <laughs> those extra logs and whatnot in there is for this very reason. When you find out, you know, midway through a project that uh, you don't have enough for something or you just came up with a fantabulous idea like this for adding just a uh, smidge more storage here. It's not going to it's not going to quite filter as evenly as I would like, but that means that items are going to come into that double chest there, get pulled down into that chest? No, because it preferences down, so it's going to fill this side first. Then when it backs up to that hopper being full, it's going to go across and down and fill up that one. Then it's going to fill up that chest last, and then once that chest is filled up, it'll go there. And uh, there we go. Now there's no unsightly gap, and uh, and there we go. Sweet. Need to. I need to rebuild my uh, redstone components box too. That should be on the agenda. Um, yeah. And I just need to pretty it up. Well, and get a uh, 24 piglins in there. But we are already at 9.45, according to the clock here. So, uh, hmm. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, uh, that, that's going to be, that's going to be enough right there. Although I'm half tempted to, to start dumping some of this into, into storage. 
so that way I can free up a little bit of the space too. I still got to tear out one of these four furnace arrays so I can get the carpet duplicator hooked up. Because uh, right now it is not an automatic carpet duplicator. It is manual. You got to come back and remember to hit the switch. And uh, sometimes that gets forgotten. And so stuff ends up getting a little a little weird. That's okay. Uh, it's, it's no big deal. It's just going to sit there in the queue waiting to get burned. Um, oh! 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 No! 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 I forgot that that had gold. I was gonna be cute and let it push stuff along. Uh, hopefully the gold made it into overflow. <laughs> yep, and that is the sign that it is time to call it a night. Blackstone. No. Do I have any more gravel? No. Uh, arrows? Nope. Quartz? Right, nuggets got picked up. Soul sand. And bricks. And string. And crying obsidian. And that water bottle should end up in one of those two. No, uh, it'll end up there. Okay. And that's why I need to label. The, those three are water bottles. Those two are books and boots and overflow. Yeah, th those three will be bottles. Bottles of water, bottles of uh, potion. How did this end up over here? I mean, I knew it was odd that I had... Okay. Okay. Weird. This must have been what they were talking about when they said, yeah, my gold ended up all over the place. Uh, all right, 64, 64, 4. That's a little more like it. Okay. All right. Uh, yep. I think Friday's stream will depend a lot on uh, what... It'll depend a lot on if... Um, that is bothering me. That ended up all the way over there. Um... Uh, Friday stream will depend on if the cable I ordered comes in. Because uh, if you if you tuned in last Friday, you know I worked on my Les Paul and my Strat style Samic, and inside what should have been a simple problem, I for the Les Paul I found a bigger problem, just struggling to get free. Because I mean that's the way that goes, right? Inside every small problem is a big problem, just struggling to get free. And uh, so uh, I ordered a better grade of wire for the Les Paul. Amazon assures me it should be in tomorrow. I kind of hate that I had to order it from Amazon just because, like, seriously, how can I not walk into a Home Despot or a Lowe's or some other big box store 
and pick up some four strand shielded wire. But then again, I the more I think about it, the more I realize that's not that's not your usual that's not your usual home improvement fare. And so I shouldn't be I shouldn't be weirded out and mad that they don't that that doesn't happen like that. Uh, so yeah. Um, that also means that, that, um, yeah, it, I mentioned so many times, more times that, than anybody wants to hear that I, I kind of, I deeply, deeply miss Radio Shack because that's a place you could go and pick up a bunch of, uh, stranded copper wire and, uh, yeah. I thought I had an empty... There we go. I'm also going to take some zombie flesh to go trade with my village people. You know, since I'm here. There we go. Perfect. Do I have any other empty ones? No. Uh, no, 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 no. Those are all full. Okay. Okay. Sorry, sorry. All right, uh, this is where I say thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. Every Tuesday, 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern is definitely Coffee Craft. Uh, Fridays are up in the air. I do want to get back to Games Revisit. I feel bad that that's been on a hiatus for over a year, and I miss it. I miss it dearly. Uh, so, Piglin Farm's done. Friday is if uh, if the guitar wire is in, I'm going to go ahead and try to finish up the Les Paul because, again, I'm trying to sell the Les Paul and the V that I showed off, uh, not this past week, but the week before that, and get the thin out my collection a little bit. And I'm also going to use the money that I earned from those to upgrade my Samick and maybe one other guitar because uh, I, I definitely want to put, put some new stuff in there. Also, I got some... I got some popular dowels to fix the weird screw issue in the Samick. I don't know if I'll do that on stream or or what. Uh, just depends on scheduling and stuff. Be, but if you if you're watching last Friday, the screws that hold that uh, hold the tremolo claw were instead of parallel with the body were screwed in at an angle and the tips are actually sticking out into the pickup cavity. While it's not causing a problem now, I do plan on upgrading the pickups and possibly putting in some humbuckers, which tend to take up a little more space, and I just don't want that to be a problem. But, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. It depends. If the parts come in, guitar stream on Friday. If they don't, we'll do part two of the piglins on Friday where I wrangle 24 piglins on stream Dream and try to keep the language family friendly. Challenge accepted. Uh, otherwise, I'll be doing the piglins on Friday. So, follow. You'll get notified when I go live, and uh, I'm getting around to actually, you know, upgrading the, de the entering in the description thingy appropriately. Uh, I think I still need to hook it up to my Twitter though, so that way I don't have to post it twice. All right, let's uh, let's see who's available for a raid before I ramble myself around in circles again. And it looks like Beast Lord J is on, playing Monster Hunter Rise. He is a great guy. Give him a follow, shout out, and all that good fun stuff. Um, Axonim, it was great having you along today. I really enjoyed raiding you last Friday. That was fun. And uh, the third guy that I usually give a, give a shout out to a raid for is uh, Grimly. Uh, so... Like those three guys, if you're not following them, go go to it. Axonim, Beast Lord J, and Grimly. All right, I'm gonna hit the title card. Stick around for the raid, and let's go uh, say hello to Beast Lord.